So the secret is this, for all these currency pairs, okay, including the indices, for all these pairs, there's a special time for trading each and every one of them. So you don't just place a trade anytime, okay? For today, let's just take the, the first one, USD CHF. I hope I'll find time and show you about the rest of them because the times are not the, the same. Each one has got its own special time. So for USD CHF, and please do subscribe if you are not a member of this channel so that you, you don't miss on the next videos. So for USD CHF, you need to be familiar with the sessions, the opening time and closing time for each and every session, especially the London session, because USD CHF will only make a move during the London session. It is the blue box if you are using this indicator. I'm going to show you how to set it up, okay, by the end of the video. But if you are using mobile, make sure you know the opening time and the closing time of the London session in your location, okay? So it is like that. For me, I'm in Swaziland, I'm using South African time. The London session has already opened, okay? And it opens at 9, is it 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. around that time, the London session opens, okay? So price will only make a move during the London session. See, during the London session, USD CHF will make a move. Between the sessions, it's ranging. Worst time to take a trade, it's between the London sessions, okay? During the London session, price makes a move. I'm going to show you how to enter the trades during these times, okay? Price makes a move during the London session. Opening of the London session, price dropped, and during the London session, it made a V, okay? Let me scroll back a little bit. During the London session, price makes a move. Between the sessions, price is ranging. Worst time for USD CHF. Let's check even this side. Between the sessions, price is ranging. If you take a trade during or between the London sessions, definitely the trade is not going to win. So between the sessions, price is ranging, but during the London session, price makes a move. Okay, that is USD CHF, guys. Opening of the blue box, price makes a move. Between the sessions, price is ranging. Okay, I can go on and on and on. Let's just take the last two. Between the London session, price makes a move. Okay, between the sessions, price is ranging. Okay, price is ranging. Opening of the London session, price dropped and made a V again. Okay, let's take this one. During the London session, price makes a move. Okay, between the sessions, price is ranging. I hope you can see even here, price makes a move during the London session and between the sessions, price is ranging. So that is the special time for USD CHF. You want to find a trade either during the London session or at the opening of the London session. You analyze USD CHF at the opening of the London session or during the London session. Okay, that's the special time for USD CHF, guys. Special time for USD CHF. You know, let me just make a few analysis on how you can analyze this pair during the London session. Another thing, you can switch to the five minutes time frame so that you can clearly see the small trend. Remember, you want to analyze, you want to do your analysis just before the London session or at the opening of the London session. Right here, you could have done this, identify this small downward channel, and when price closed above it, could have taken a trade 
buy trade right there okay let's scroll back a little bit i want to show you how to analyze a v okay a v this is not a v it's the same thing there was this small downward channel okay there was this small downward channel when price made this breakout you could have taken a trade right there you put your stop loss somewhere there okay okay uh i just want to show you how to analyze a v all right we have a v right here i'm just going to take this one and then we will be good to go this is a v let me just remove everything okay this is a v when price is dropping right here what you want to do is you mark this point okay this pull back price drops and then pulls back and when it continues pushing up you mark this point that it has left it is a key level if price comes and close above this you take a buy okay you take a buy but then price didn't it continued dropping and then it pulled back and then dropped again so you mark this uh, level right here if price come back comes back and close above it you take it by trade if it doesn't you leave it okay right here price came back and then dropped again so you could have marked this area right here but then guess what price came and closed above it even retested it okay so you could have taken your buy trade right there so that is how you are able to find trades after a v for you to know that it is a v price has to drop drop and then as it drops it leaves these key levels okay as it drops it leaves this key level if price comes back and close above this you can take a trade right there okay take a trade right there it confirms this as a v so that is how you trade this thing guys for the sessions let me just show you you go to the indicators okay just click indicators and search for this one let me just click here so you you type sessions and then you select sessions by lux algo you select that one i've already selected it and for the settings on the indicator okay okay, okay. you just remove uh, these things you remove the daily divider remove remove everything only leave range label and then you uncheck that box okay you can leave these sessions like this you just have to uncheck this stuff at the bottom so that your indicator is clean like this you only have the boxes and the labels up there okay guys thank you for watching